In this film, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B3 air spring on the rear axle of a Mercedes-Benz M-Class W164. Please be sure to follow the instructions shown in the film. Always replace air springs pairwise. It is imperative to follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions, e.g., regarding the replacement of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the required tightening torques. When replacing air springs, be sure to use the tools and equipment provided by the vehicle manufacturer. Check the proper orientation of the new air springs prior to installation. Take the air spring out of its packaging and make sure it is not twisted or damaged, and the rolling fold is preserved. Please follow the installation instructions included. Prior to removal of the air spring, vehicle height is measured and recorded from the wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the mudguard. Attention! This is possible only when the air suspension module is not destroyed. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Thoroughly check all suspension components for defects. Remove the wheels. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Completely bleed the air spring with the help of the diagnostic device. Switch off the ignition. Always pull the ignition key before working on the air spring. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Clean the pressure line connection at the top of the air spring. Loosen the pressure line carefully until you hear the sound of escaping air and wait until the system is completely depressurized. Then remove the pressure line connector fully and seal it. Be sure not to bend, twist, or squeeze the pressure line. Force the retaining clip of the air spring from the vehicle bottom using an appropriate tool. Press the air spring slightly together along its length and lift sideways from the transverse control arm. The air spring can now be removed. The new air spring is installed in reverse order of its removal. Replace the air spring retaining clip at the vehicle bottom. Remove the safety label immediately prior to the installation. During installation, make sure that the air spring is not twisted. Fit the new air spring with the bulge to the centering of the lower transverse control arm and check for correct alignment. Click the air spring into the retaining clip. Loosen the locking screw on the pressure line connection of the air spring and remove carefully. Remove the centrally inserted retainer of the cutting ring. Replace the locking screw and the cutting ring on the vehicle's pressure line. Pay attention to the correct alignment of the cutting ring. Mount the pressure line to the air spring. During installation, be sure to apply the torque specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Be sure not to bend, twist, or squeeze the pressure line. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with the air suspension depressurized. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Fill the air spring via the diagnostic device according to the vehicle manufacturer's specifications. Check the pressure line connection for leakage. The leak tightness of the entire system must be guaranteed. Attach the wheels properly. Lower the vehicle down until the wheels touch the ground and then start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle with the engine running to the previously measured level or to the series standard height. Activate the vehicle's lifting mode. Wait until the vehicle lifts up from the lifting platform by itself. Do not lower the lifting platform completely before this point. Always perform an axle alignment after working on suspension parts.